In this lesson, we're going to look at working with numbers in Ruby. We'll use the interactive shell for this lesson, so let's get started. Open up your command prompt, type IRB. Ruby can work with the major types of number systems used in computer programming. So for example, whole numbers are allowed as are floating point numbers. You can even work in different bases. So for example, if we want to work in binary, we can write 0B101 for 5 with the 0B representing binary. If we want to work in hexadecimal, we can write 0x and 0x10 with 16 in hex. And there's other number systems also. Negative numbers are handled by putting a unary minus sign before the number. Ruby has the normal arithmetic operators that you expect, the plus sign, the minus sign, although in Ruby when you try to use a floating point number, you need to put the zero first, so let's do that again. We'll do 088. There's our result. Then we have multiplication as well as division. We also have modulus, so if we want the remainder of a computation, I'll put a space here. So 4 modulus 2 is 0. We also have exponentiation, 2 asterisks, 2 raised to the second power is 4. And of course, I've already shown you how to do unary minus or to negate a number. An interesting thing about Ruby is that numbers, like other pieces of data, are objects. And so we can use object functions or methods directly off of numbers in Ruby. So for example, if I want to find the absolute value of negative 23, I just write negative 23.abs and that returns the absolute value of that number. Some other methods we can use include division as well as modulo, which we've already seen before, but let's look at it in this sense. So 12 modulo 7 is 5. Since 12 is divided by 7, 1 with a remainder of 5. Another important thing that you can do with numbers is convert them to string. So for example, if I have the number 100 and I want to convert it to a string, I can write 2 underscore s, and you'll see that what I get as a result is the number 100 turned into a string. So those are just a few of the things we can do with numbers. I wasn't going to try to cover everything. There are a lot of methods that are part of the number class. And also be aware, though, we're going to cover this more in the section on variables, is that variables in Ruby can shift from numeric type to numeric type. So for example, I can assign 100 to num, and then turn around and assign negative 200 to num. And Ruby isn't worried about the fact that 100 is a whole number and minus 200 is a floating point number. Internally, the language simply adjusts the data type of the variable. We'll talk more about that in the chapter on variables. But with that, I want to move on to the next lesson where we're going to talk about Boolean data.